We're off to New Bedford today to visit a whaling museum in an old whaling town. Headed out the Cape Cod Canal and we've got traffic. We have another downwind day, uh, about 13 to 15 knots of wind, at about 160 degrees off the uh, starboard side. So we have the mizzen is down, the mainsail is down, we're just flying the Genoa that wide. Uh, we only have two feet of waves, so it's a very comfortable sail just because the waves aren't too bad. Good morning. Uh, we are on course to New Bedford, but the wind, mm, we've changed course so the wind is actually on our beam, which means it's hitting us off the side. Um, you can look at this here at this gauge and you can actually see this is a pictorial of our boat and the wind direction is very close to coming across our beam sideways. And that we do not have the correct sail up for an upwind slog into New Bedford. So the Genoa is a large sail, which is fantastic for downwind sailing. It's just a big parachute to capture all the wind. So Gary's up front now. He's uh, he's going to put up uh, a smaller jib uh, that will actually work as an upwind sail. He'll put that up first, then we'll furl the Genoa, which means we'll take the Genoa in, and then we'll raise the mainsail, which actually will provide the force we need to actually head upwind. put the stay cell up which is actually one of the inner stays and that's going to work as our as as one of our jibs to bring us up wind. Time to furl the Genoa. The Genoa just rolls right up onto the fore stay and for Gary to do that he's actually got to pull the furling line for the Genoa as I release the Genoa sheet. We have lazy jacks on both the main and the mizzen. So to set the sail, I've taken the aft two lazy jacks and brought them forward so they don't interfere with the sail. I'm just gonna put them on here for now. We'll put them back up later. Let me go inside and haul up the sail. We've changed from uh, running downwind, now we're reaching, which means the wind is coming 90 degrees from the center line of the boat. So we've got the mainsail up full, and we've got the little jib, staysail, on to balance it. It works well for this wind and this angle. Mainsail and staysail. Two hours later. Winds are pretty light, about eight knots, and we're heading upwind. So we've got the mizzen, the mainsail, and the little faithful jibs to fly in. That uh, moves the center of effort aft so that we can point closer into the wind.
Siemens Bethel here in New Bedford was a non-denominational church that provided services for seamen and provided services to the families of those who went to sea to whale, to fish, and who were gone for many months at a time to pray for their souls. Plenty of cool little galleries here, and here's one artist gallery I think you're going to enjoy. Bedford, Massachusetts, <clears throat> the old whaling town that lit the world. Tons and tons of whale oil were brought in on sh the whaling ships into this port. And of course the whale oil has stopped, but the town is thriving. It's a, um, obviously it went downhill and then now it's coming back. It uh, has a vibrant art scene. Uh, we've seen lots of really incredible murals and that's some artists too. Uh, the strong Black Lives Matter and uh, the equality movement here. There were Portuguese here yeah, um, and Quakers and the Quakers had a lot to do with the abolitionist movement which is part of why the Black Lives Matter is still here. Also aboard the whaling ships you had Filipinos and Africans and people from all walks of life and Europeans and Native Americans and all sorts of people and they all were working together and all getting the same work done. Yeah, then they came to shore here from New Bedford at the end of the whaling voyage and the town continued that tradition. Mm -hmm. 